As in the previous video, we saw how we read the data provided by the component in the HTML5 and we put the data in a tabular format. Now here, we will try to modify the appearance of our output using the pipes. If someone who is familiar with AngularJS, there we have the concept called filters. Here we have the similar concept with the name pipes and the implementation is always similar. So if you want to use pipes, when you should use that? Whenever you want to transform your data. Transform means whenever you want to change the way of the data representation. All right, uh, can be applied using pipe symbol. All right, this pipe symbol is there in the keyboard. You can just use that after the property name and you can apply that particular uh, pipe on that particular field provides different type of pipe for strings dates currency etc like if you have the fields like name last name company name there you can use some of the some of the strings pipe that is uppercase lowercase if it's about dates you can print the dates in the different format and if it's about currency you can print the currency using different symbols or currency names like us dollar indian rupees etc Custom pipes can also be created. Though we have a set of predefined pipes, but as per our requirement, if we want, we can create our own pipes as well. In this particular video, we will just see some of the predefined pipes. In the next video, we will see how to learn the custom pipes. So let's start a practical implementation of the predefined pipes provided by Angular 2. Now to start applying the pipes, let's get start with the first name. As the first thing which we are going to put here is the case pipes. So for applying the pipes, I'll just put the pipe symbol and after that I can pass either lower or upper case. So here if I will say upper case like upper case and I'll save it. So you will notice like the first name of all the employees are changed to the upper case. Similarly, if I want last name to come in the lowercase, I will say a lowercase after the pipe symbol. So you can see the last name are displayed in the lowercase. So that's as simple. You can apply the pipe. Just put a pipe symbol and then you can put it right there. So these are the couple of the case pipes. After that, you have some different kinds of pipe like for the dates, for the numbers like as here, you can see it's about the salary. So when it's about the salary, there is something called currency, all right? So here I will use a currency pipe in order to put the currency symbol or the details. So here, when I say currency by default, you can see USD means US dollars are there. But obviously you can change the currency as per your requirement. So if you want to change the currency, you can simply put the currency like for now, I put INR that is Indian rupee. So here you can see apart from uh, it's the USD is gone, but INR is now into the picture. Now the next thing is whether you want that particular currency name should be printed or the symbol of it. So by default, as you can see, it is showing you the initials of this currency name. All right. But now I will set it to true. That true will actually set the symbols true all right and as soon as i will do that here you can see the things are changed to the indian rupees like the it is the indian rupee symbol all right similarly if i will put it for usd you will see the usd symbol all right so let's put it inr itself all right so this is about the currency now similarly when it comes to date we have some date pipes as well so as soon as i put a date you can see by default it is taking the month name then the uh, date and then the year all right but again you have the different choices you can go for the different combinations of it let's say if you want to see the full date you can simply say full date all right and now it will come in a different format all right as you can see the date name then day name and then full month name and then the date and the year all right and if you want to customize you can do that as well like first i want to see the date then month capital m for month 
and then the year. So it all depends on you how you want to see that. So let's say if I just want to see the date in the default format, all right, like in this particular format. Here, if you want to apply another pipe, that is the uppercase, you can do that again by putting a pipe symbol. That means multiple pipes can be applied at a time on a column. And now you can see the month name are changed to the uppercase. So this is how you can start applying the predefined pipes in Angular.